Russia has tested a new anti-missile interceptor. Though Russian media hailed the test as an impressive demonstration of Russian military power, it's not exactly clear why this is so. Russia's Ministry of Defense issued a brief announcement. The Air and Missile Defense Forces of the Airspace Forces successfully conducted a new test launch of a modernized missile of the Russian ABM, anti-ballistic missile, system. After a series of tests, the new ABM system has proved its characteristics and successfully completed the task, engaging the target with a given accuracy, said Colonel Sergei Grabchuk, commander of the missile unit. The missile was not identified with the Ministry of Defense only saying that the anti-ballistic missile system is in service with the Russian Aerospace Forces. It is designed to protect Moscow from air and space attacks. India now has superior sniper power than Pakistan. The Army has made an emergency purchase of latest sniper rifles with a better range, firepower and telescopic sights than the adversary. The move comes after six soldiers died in sniper attacks by Pakistan on the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir last year and an identical number fell to the enemy's bullets in 2017. The new rifles, namely Barrett M95.50 BMG and Beretta Scorpio TGD Victoria.338 Lapua Magnum, were recently inducted into some units on the lock to negate the advantage enjoyed by Pakistan there. Till now. They had better sniper rifles, Remington, with a range of more than 1.5 kilometers while the Indian Army gun's range was far short. The new rifles have a kill range of 1.5 kilometers to 1.8 kilometers. The US-made Barrett has a range of nearly 1,800 meters while the Italian-made Beretta has a kill range of more than 1,500 meters. Both these rifles are extensively used by special forces of several countries and the induction of these high-precision weapons. The Indian Army needs nearly 5,800 sniper rifles with a range of more than 1,200 meters and the request for information, RFI, or Global Tender was floated way back in 2016. While the process of zeroing in on the ultimate vendor is still on, the Northern Command went in for emergency purchase given the ground situation on the law. The United States has told Turkey that it will not receive its purchase of F-35 fighter jets if the Turkish government goes ahead with a deal to buy a Russian missile defense system. The latest escalation in the U.S.-Turkey dispute came as Russian state-owned defense corporation Rostik announced it would begin deliveries of S-400 air defense systems to Turkey in two months following a long-running conflict between the U.S. and Turkey about the system's compatibility with the F-35. The U.S. has warned that the S-400 is considered a threat to the F-35, due to concerns that the Russian system could learn weaknesses in the stealth fighter jets. In a letter to Hulu Sayakar, the Turkish Defense Minister, Acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan wrote, Turkey's procurement of the S-400 will hinder your nation's ability to enhance or maintain cooperation with the United States and within NATO. Mr. Shanahan said the training of Turkish pilots for the F-35 will end on 31 July and Turkey will be phased out from the F-35 program, in which it has manufactured essential parts for the fighter jets. Turkey's deal with Russia for the S-400 system is reportedly worth $2.5 billion and Ankara has previously rejected U.S. offers to sell them the Patriot alternative in 2013 and 2017. If Turkey does receive the Russian defense system this summer, it is expected to be ready for use by 2020.